Hello Pisces, welcome to GQ Spiritual Guide. This is going to be your love reading for April 4th. No, it's not the 4th. <laughs> April 11th through the 17th, excuse me. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Life is good to you, you are good to it. Yes, let's get into your love reading. How are you feeling in love, Pisces? How does Pisces feel in love? We're going to get the outcome for you, like what you can expect to happen next, as well as advice. This is for Pisces. For April 11th, we have the 17th. How does Pisces feel? Okay, let's get into it for Pisces. Your underlying energy, the lovers. Okay, this is the sign of Gemini. Uh, the lovers. It's all about making a decision in love. It is life-changing. It is a big decision. Okay. Um, the lovers. Harmony is romantic. It's honorable. It's about love. It's about being in love. It's connection. It's soulmate. It's all that beautiful beautiful energy all right so how do you feel chariot will of fortune page of wands well there's some movement that's for sure and i love it as a reader i love movement not just thinking not just talking but like actual movements and transitions and going from one you know from a to b it's just, it's very fun to read. All right, so Cherry, are you moving on? You're moving forward? You're moving in a better direction. There's progress. There's uh, perseverance here. The will is turning, and it's turning in your favor. All right, and you could be trying to figure out something. Exploring, exploration, exploration, not Expectation. All right, clarify the chariot. Well, could be. You could be literally relocating, moving to another location. Your home, your life, traveling somewhere. All right. Why is a tower here? The five of pentacles... Someone could have left you out in the cold and now you're moving on. Someone could have left you feeling alone. Clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Oh. All right. But the Ace of Wands is in the reverse. Why the Ace of Wands reverse? Sorry for the beeping. There's some trucks in reverse outside. Why the Ace of Wands in reverse? Okay. Well, I mean, I feel like maybe you feel like things are working out for you or you have new opportunities coming toward you. There's new opportunities out there. Um, your destiny awaits you. This could be all these things, but there's something here. You kind of lack determination, all right? There's a little bit of you that is a little, um, and I say a little because the seven of cups in the reverse, um, like there's a lack of passion, a lack of initiative being taken, action being taken, uh, but I feel like you are empowered you are awakening to something why the seven of cups reverse the truth yeah this is all that like epiphany like i wouldn't be surprised if you were getting epiphanies and light bulb moments and aha moments and you're like yes i think that's why i see so much movement okay there's a lot of transitional energy here but why do you feel this way, though? What is the energy of the Ace of Wands reverse?
the Ten of Cups. I mean, it could have been a relationship here. You know, like you're still carrying around that energy. It hasn't gone away. Um, because someone looks like someone probably left you hanging. Left you feeling abandoned or neglected. Um, and don't don't be fooled by the word abandoned or neglected. Because you don't have to go someone to neglect them or abandon them. You can literally tell them, I'm leaving. I'm not going to be here anymore. I'm going away. It's over. That could very much feel like neglect or ab abandonment. Okay. But the 10 of cups, and I think it's because of a relationship that's just kind of still with you. Clarify this page of wands. The devil. Maybe you're wondering what went wrong. Because there's some curiosity here. You have questions you're asking. And I think it's because something went wrong here. Why the devil? Uh-oh. The two of swords. <laughs> Maybe you, for a long time, avoided making this decision. Making a decision about it. Like, I don't know. Maybe you hung on too long. Or you wanted to really hang on to it. Not let it go. You know, I'm kind of getting this idea of someone being handcuffed to something. Or codependent to a thing. What is the energy of the chariot? So you have the seven of wands in the reverse. And then you have the eight of cups. So this is you... Uh, not wanting to go back. Because this cherry is telling me you moved on. Because someone did you dirty. And this is you not wanting to. Like you quit. Like you, you, you've given up. What is the energy of the Wheel of Fortune? What is the energy of the Wheel of Fortune? The Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> So good things are happening for you, Pisces, okay? And if this is like future tense, get ready for good things to happen for you. And I think it's because, um, well, I don't know why good things are happening for you, but I see how you're empowered. I like that you're not confused. It's almost like I know exactly what I want. And maybe that's why good things are happening because you know exactly what you want. You're emitting that into the atmosphere okay what is the energy of the page of wands the empress and the reverse um all right so th there's a lack of growth a lack of expansion here um uh with the empress reverse why the Emperor's Reverse? The Four of Cups. I feel like you don't know what went wrong. This somebody, this person could have left you without explanation. No real closure, no real conversation, right? Some of you could have been ghosted, right? But I think that is leaving you unsure of what really happened okay so if you're trying to find out something i feel like that's not happening for you. you're not getting anywhere you, there's nothing uh being unfolded here and it's really putting you in this energy of feeling down feeling unexcited like you know even though good things are happening for you. But it's not like, I don't, it's not, oh, I want to go back to this person. It's like, well, what went wrong? Like, what happened? Did I do something? Um, that's kind of what I get with that. Wanting to figure out information. So what can you expect to happen next in love? I mean, I like your reading. I, I get where you stand. I do like it, though. How, you know, I, I love when you guys are empowered. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, life just threw me a bowl full of lemons. But, you know, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm, I'm going to take them. I'm going to take those lemons. You know? Every lemon thrown at me, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to squish it or I'm going to make lemonade and all that stuff. You know? You, you do something with it. All right. What can Pisces expect to happen next in love? Okay. So the burden remains. So we, I mentioned that in the first spread, right? It's still, you're still carrying it around, it's still with you. The burden is still here and it it's heavy because I feel because of the neglect, because of the lack of closure, all right? You didn't expect this. This was, you know, they left you just out in the cold, just feeling rejected, all right? Clarify the 10 of wands. So, yeah, if you're still carrying it around, I, I totally understand. Why the Ten of Wands? All right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, This Earth sign, you could have been dealing with an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This individual... Uh, they may have just felt very discouraged. Like they didn't have a lot of, uh, I'm getting self-esteem or confidence or something, but in what the, why the two of pentacles reverse? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. What is the energy of the 10 of wands? Okay, you have the Wheel of Fortune, but the Six of Wands in the reverse. So these carrying these Ten of Wands around, it, it does put you in a low vibration, okay? And not to say that, hey, sometimes, hey, we just have to be in a low vibration until, you know, I'm able to really heal from this. Um, but I, it does cause delays, all right? It does postpone the blessings and things coming toward you when we stay in those because we, we are attracting what we're what we're vibrating, right? Um, I mean, that's what I see here in the cards, but I feel like this person you were dealing, what is the energy of that two pentacles reverse? Don't think they don't feel bad because they do. They know what they have done. The ace of wands, it's like... I don't know if this person felt pressure to give you some kind of new beginning, to start a new life with you. Um, some of you, it could be to have children, because uh, this is like could be like giving birth. <sighs> I don't know. This could have have something to do with money. Like this person was not the most willful candidate, and I think it's because they lacked self-esteem or lacked courage or bravery or something they just were at a lack and they do feel really bad if that means anything to you guys they do feel bad like there's some regret here okay um all right so what should you do what's your advice because we have we have to get you out of this ten of wands okay just burning it's just heavy all right uh what advice do you have for pisces okay oh ten of ten of swords okay i'm not going to take all these that just flipped over okay so this is just telling you when an ending happens it's just like accepting the ending okay Like, with every ending, there's a new beginning, okay? Your future is still fine. And we saw that, all right? You're going to be carrying some of those burdens. Some of those new opportunities will be delayed because of the vibration that you're in. But I wouldn't worry about that. I would focus on healing, 
seriously. And I think this card is telling you that too. There's a need to accept what has happened. Um, why the Ten of Swords? Oh, the Five of Swords. Look, you ha you may have lost, but the you didn't lose. It's not a lose lose situation. Mm, the Eight of Wands. Why the Eight of Wands? Okay. Maybe there's some type of communication you should have. I send a message. Um, Seven of Cups. Uh, why? What is the energy of the Eight of Wands? The lovers, the four of pentacles. If you, if if this is about the person who did you wrong, if you're able to communicate with them, go for it. Because I feel like you deserve an explanation. Seriously. Why the four of pentacles though? What's that about? Okay. Yeah. I think this is about the the relationship, maybe even why they held back so much. Because I'm going to go out on a limb and say they probably showed signs of potential neglect or potential abandonment. You know, maybe they with, with, would withhold their emotions and feelings at times. I mean, I could be wrong, but it just seems like that could be a thing. People who do that oftentimes are afraid to face people or to say what they feel you know fear of judgment fear of uh hurting another person uh they just don't like conflict um yeah about things that are unfair we don't want to falsely accuse people so it's good to get some type of clarity but i feel like if you're able to communicate or send a message then just do it okay um what is the energy of the seven of cups okay but the three of pentacles is don't don't put any more effort into it right it's like if they have an email or a dm you can send like then do it but that's it don't don't put any more effort into it okay if they want to respond they will if they don't it's like okay well we can't force them what is the energy of this five of swords the Hierophant and the reverse. Uh, is this is just about your? It's it's not a lose lose situation. Um, uh, I mean, this could be about a breakup, but I don't think the Hierophant here in the reverse talks about that. It's almost like. When this person is not around for you to do foolish things or to over give or to be, you know, like it's almost like you, you, it's a win, more of a win to me. Okay. I think that's why the five of swords is here. It's like, you didn't really lose though, Pisces. Like this is actually a win for you. Okay. Because you don't. I don't know how to describe it, Spirit. Help me with the words. Um, it, it is almost like foolishly giving, overgiving, overdoing it, being the only one. One side in this, thank you, thank you. When you ask, it shall be given. <laughs> um, yes, that's what I'm getting with the Hierophant and the reverse. Okay. So this is just accepting what has happened. If you want to just message them, the cards are supporting it saying what you feel ask your questions but after that don't give it any more energy this is putting in no more effort all right this is like a one-time thing um unless you guys have already done it then that's it don't do it anymore that is your advice you could do what you want but the advice here the best course of action is to just one and done okay all right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. Good luck and love. Wishing you guys the best. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share. And I'll talk to you next time. Mwah. Deuces.